DC to AC circuit breakers. Let's look at the picture on the left. Again, we see a PV array. It goes to a PV combiner. We have a session specifically dealing with PV, PV combiner boxes. Immediately after the combiner, we have a device. A device that is a surge protector and surge arrestor. This, this protection takes all the DC energy that the combiner combined and, in, and control whether it will be transferred to the inverter or not. When we will deal with combiners, we will see that all the panels which are on the roof, all their voltages and their accumulated current is combined together in one box and being sent to the inverter through the surge protector. After the inverter, we have um, the AC network and the AC network is being switched again by what we call AC disconnect switch. This AC disconnect switch is close to the grid on one side and very close to the inverter on the other side. This in order to cut the connection and not to let over voltage occurring on the PV system affecting the grid. The picture on the right is off-grid PV system having a combiner box and a multi-level breakers. Please note that every piece of equipment on the line is protected from both sides. For example, the charge controller, this black box in, uh, immediately connected to the PV array. Before that, we have a switch. After that, we have a switch. We still on a DC side. We go into the battery bank. The input of the battery bank has a switch. The output of the battery bank has a switch and it goes to an inverter. Inverter also has two switches on both sides, in each side. DC switch on one side, AC switch on the other side. So this is to control and to be able to cut the entire system into segments. Now when over voltage takes place, in this case it's an off-grid system, I would like to save and eliminate the destruction of each particular piece of equipment on the line. This is why we have several switches in series. So every piece of equipment is protected specifically, personally, from overvoltage.